There are things lying around your house that you can use to color your resin. That is the thought that led me to this amazing discovery. I live in Jamaica and I wanted to find an alternative to mica powder and liquid pigment that I could source locally so that I didn't have to keep spending lots of money to acquire colorants for my resin pieces. And I'm telling you, it 100% works. Can you tell which one of these pieces is backed with charcoal? This is my first resin experiment. I'm comparing mica powder, liquid pigment, acrylic paint, and charcoal to see if the acrylic paint and charcoal will work just as well as the mica powder and the liquid pigment, which are sold as colorants for resin. So after mixing my two-part epoxy, I am just pouring some in the smaller pour cups in which I will be mixing the colorants. I put the charcoal powder and resin powder in the cup before adding the resin because it is easier to mix it that way. After that, it's just mixing. I used a small amount of acrylic paint and it was very easy to mix. The paint spread easily in the resin. As for the pigment, I gave the bottle a quick shake, added two drops and mixed. It was very smooth and easy to mix and the color did spread faster than the acrylic paint did. With the mica powder, it was smooth and easy to mix as expected. The charcoal on the other hand was not smooth because I basically just took a piece of charcoal that I found on the beach and I powdered it out with a piece of metal. So it was not the finest, but it was, it was fine enough. It was smooth enough. It was now time to pour into the molds that I have prepared. I am doing three tests. This airing mold has two layers of iridescent mica powder brushed into it. So this is just a very thin layer of backing that I am adding to this set to see how the different colorants will enhance the pieces. The second mold has a water dropped effect to one side. And on the other side, I will be doing just a blank pour to see what each piece looks like without any addition, without any interference. I started off with the mica powder, but I did not mix enough to fill the blank mold, so later on I had to do that. Next, I poured the acrylic paint, and I used the smaller earring molds for that because it was a, I was least confident in, in that one. And I continue to pour. My phone has a limit, a recording time limit. So it stopped recording and I did not realize. I'm just coming in now and labeling the different cavities with the colorant that was poured in it. So that when I am comparing the results, I know what is what. This is the next day and all of the pieces have passed the cure test. And in looking at them now, I cannot even identify which is which because they all looked so good. And I was happy. I was very happy at this point. So I was excited to see how each piece will turn out. Initially, I had planned to use the one color for the pieces, but I changed my mind because I did not want all the earrings to look the same. But now I'm thinking that I would have been able to make a more accurate comparison if they all looked the same and in looking at the mold again all the earrings are different sizes so even if they were the same color they would not come out looking the same so that is something I wish I had done differently but in any event I think the pieces turned out nicely all the colorants the mica powder the pigment the acrylic paint and the charcoal worked there are slight differences that I'm going to mention soon, but the bottom line is that this was a successful experiment. My question for you is what things do you have laying around your house that you could possibly use to color your resin? I am actually planning to recreate this experiment only with white colorants instead. I have cornstarch that I will be using as one of the colorants, so make sure you come back to check that out. 
This is a close-up of the blank pieces and the only piece that looks different is the mica powder because it has the sparkles. The only difference between the pigment and the charcoal and the acrylic paint was only visible when I held up the pieces to the light. I could see the slightest bit of green in the charcoal and I, I did see the green in the, in the acrylic paint as well. And it could be because the charcoal powder was not very smooth and it could also be that I did not mix the acrylic paint very well. So apart from that, the three pieces look like could pass the triplets. And here we are looking at the backing on the water drop effect and they all worked well. Uh, the only thing I would change is to use the same color because the pieces all have different different colors. So, but they worked well bringing out the color in the in the different pieces. The most striking difference in the colorants is visible in these pieces. Now, because the backing color is so thin and it's just a thin layer of each of the colorants on these pieces, it's easier to see the quality of the mixture. So this is the acrylic paint and I, I don't know if you were able to see, but I was able to see that it, the graininess of it was apparent on these pieces. So the way I did these pieces, I, I have a, a clear layer of resin and then I added a color of mica powder, then a very thin layer of resin and another layer of mica powder before I put the backing on it. So the backing is very thin. The colorant that looked the best on these pieces is the mica powder because I was not able to see through it. Even the pigment, I was able to see differences in the like lighter colored sections of the mixture, of the backing. So yeah, because the layer was so thin, I yeah, it showed up, it showed up everything, but it really did not affect the overall quality of the of these pieces. Um, the focus, of course, is the front. And even though I was able to see the graininess when I looked closely at it, it did not affect the look of the overall piece. It still looked very good. And I was still very happy with the results of each of the colorants. So that's it for this video and for this experiment. I hope you are inspired to check around your house to see what you can find to color your resin with. If you share them in the comment section below, then maybe I will give them a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day as well as a restful night.